Now let us write the reset button click. So let me add the code here dollar hash btn reset dot click function what we need to do actually we need to have pieces that is 16 pieces which we have done using this for loop so actually we have to repeatedly call this for loop once here initially and within the start button to have empty image pieces that is pieces without any image and also here so I think it is better to have it as a function so let me create a function here function create pieces and we can have true or false values based on whether it should be with image or without image so let me specify with image as the parameter and here if with image in that case what we can do let me copy this code that is from here up to here let me cut it from here and add it within this okay and let me move these variable names outside the condition so here and let me align this a bit this this here here this this okay and this is of the for loop and after this let me return pieces so that we can get it there return pieces then in the else condition that is if with image then we are doing up to this right then else that is if we want to create pieces without any image then what we need to copy we can copy this section right this section so we don't need the looping section again so what we can do is that here the if condition can be added actually inside the loop so here instead of this for ouch this should be back 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 and here let me check if with image in that case I want to have this let me align this again this and let me remove this this is also not needed right we could have done it in the initial stage itself right no problem in the else part that is if we don't want it with an image in that case what we can do we can copy this section this one let me copy it from here paste it here instead of empty string it should be pieces right then what we need to do we now have to call this create pieces function with true or false so here instead of this let me remove this and here call the function with false because we don't need to have any image here and initially we can have a variable named pieces and call the function with true hope you understand we have just made this as a function so that it is easy to call let me check whether it is working or not let me save this see it is working start let me try see ouch try again now we have to write the reset button click when it came there repeatedly we have done this functioning part right so here what we can do let me have where new pieces equals again we need to call the function this time we need to call it with image right 
and we need to append this for the puzzle container so dollar hash puzzle container dot html as this value that is new pieces and in addition to this what we need to do we need to actually hide this current button and show the start button right that is when we click on this reset button this should be hidden and the start button should be displayed so what we can do dollar this dot hide and dollar hash btn start dot show and we also have to remove this message right so what we can do we can specify dollar hash piece container dot empty now let us check let me save let me close this let me click the start button let me try to solve this puzzle first one two three no is this here let us check okay let me place it here no let me try to put it here no this piece is to be here right then no let me try to put it here no this piece here yes okay it is getting correct i think this is here because this was the piece using which i have explained the concept of background position let me put it here is it correct no here no is it here no yes okay then no it's not matching no this is here it is correct i think then this piece was here and here let me try to move it here yes yeah wow you are a genius so we got the image correctly placed and we are seeing the correct message let me click the reset button okay it is changed to start and let me click the start button see it is again moving let me try to place it not correctly when we move it here it is highlighted this piece is highlighted if, if i move it towards this side this piece is getting highlighted if i try to place it here see it is getting reverted back see ouch try again now let me try to have a different image because to solve it easily instead of this i have saved some more images there is one named seasons.jpg okay now let me save this and show you see these gaps are already there in that image it is not because of any issue so this is easy to solve right a light green color light green red yellow blue then in the first column we need to have images just to show you i am having a simple image light green red yellow blue let me start so let me try to place light green red yellow blue now let me try to place the items correctly this needs to be here this has to be here this has to go here then this one here no no actually this has to go here right this has to go here this one here then this one here this one here all are having symmetric shapes that is why i have chosen this one see wow you are a genius so we have implemented this jigsaw puzzle doing many things let me explain the code once again that is the important portions first we have added the main container the piece container which will hold the separate pieces puzzle container 
to solve the puzzle and two buttons we have styled these like we have initially styled the main container with width border border radius to have rounded corners that is these corners then margin and padding then for the piece container we have initially set the value to be 400 but as the border has to be considered we have increased it to 408 then border float to be left because we want piece container and puzzle container to be displayed in the same row that is in the same level then text align center because we want to display the ouch try again or the you are a genius message in the center and we have set line height to be 400 px this has to be made as 408 so that it will be vertically centered then font size and position is set to be relative so that the pieces will be within the container itself because for the pieces we are setting the position to be absolute then for the puzzle container we have set the width and height border and float to be right then for the unordered list we have specified list style type to be none so that the bullet points will be removed text align to be centered so that the buttons will be centered then for the button we have specified width border font size border radius padding and margin top to have a gap between the border of the puzzle and piece containers and the button then for button reset we have set display to be none initially and these are the pieces which we are displaying that is the 16 pieces which we display here so for each piece we are setting width and height to be 100 px border float to be left then background image is set here and background repeat to be no repeat then we are initially creating the pieces so we have made it as a function so inside the function we are running for loop two times that is one for rows four rows and one for columns four columns and we are setting background position to be left and top values which will be negative values so that they will be correctly placed and if we don't want to have the image then we are just specifying background image to be none and for the pieces without image we are having a class name droppable space using which we are making these div elements droppable and on the click of the start button we are moving the pieces from the puzzle container to the piece container by writing this code okay and what we have done after that we are actually implementing the logic where we are making the elements draggables and droppables and inside which for the droppable we are adding hover class to highlight which element is being dropped and we are adding piece present for the droppable space which is already containing an image and dropped piece for the draggable piece to know that it is already a dropped piece then we are accepting only if that space is not already occupied then for the draggable piece we have revert invalid because we need the piece to go back to its original position if it is not accepted and in the start what we have done here because if an image is placed at one space and once it is moved then we have to remove the piece present class from its parent otherwise that particular space will not be accepting any other piece even if there is no piece in that particular space so we have implemented the jigsaw puzzle now and it is working correctly and perfectly we can actually want to check with another image if we want i have another one flower2.jpg let me save this and check this is the one we can play this game i am just randomly placing the items that is the pieces and let us check we will get the output like ouch try again let me show you that see we are seeing ouch try again you can have another image if you want so this is our jigsaw puzzle and the project is ready with this